Happy Sunday, fam club. This weekend, the next Ultra Premium Collection contents were leaked from a GameStop employee, and the pictures of it have been posted online. I thought we would check that out today. So if you don't like spoilers and speculation, this is the time to leave. Otherwise, let's get to it. All right, now I first saw this posted yesterday by Pika Wiz. I've never seen this before. Um, this was posted over on X or Twitter. Uh, just props to him for releasing this, and then uh, Pokemon, Pokemon uh, retweeted it, and that, that was a bigger reason why I saw it personally. But I want to hop over to Reddit here. Uh, and first look at what's going on over here. So this is the image. It is reportedly from GameStop. This is the Pokemon TCG Reddit group. Uh, if, if you're not big on Reddit, this is this is a great group to follow a lot of stuff going on with Pokemon. Uh, you can see some of the other groups over here that I've favorited and follow myself and, and just check in on from time to time. But anyways, here's the set makeup. First of all, this is the contents of the Ultra Premium Collection. From this image, we can see that it comes out in November of 2024. We'll talk about the timelines of the Pokemon TCG sets in a minute. We got 18 packs in this booster box. I think that's the most ever. The Celebrations, I want to say, had 17. The Charizard had 16. Um, so based on that and some of the other contents of this item, this could have the highest msrp of an ultra premium collection in a while uh possibly ever i didn't go back and look at all the msrp the the retail price of of the sets all the way back but as far as i remember they've generally been 120 dollars. now it's also going to include three promo cards and then eight cracked ice foil terrestrial or terrestrial basic energy um from there on out we got normal stuff like damage dice a deck box i think that's that's a little bit new to have a deck box it's got a play mat condition markers coin then it's going to have one of those three one touch protectors and a stand for it so they started including those uh i guess ultra pro like i don't know if ultra pro makes them or they're just very similar to ultra pros one touch protectors uh, i'm sure that multiple companies make the one touch protectors but um ultra pro is most notable to me anyways and it's going to have a stand. So obviously these these three promo cards are kind of interesting. And then, you know, it finishes off with a, a coin. And I don't know why it says coin twice. That's kind of interesting. We got the flip coin. I'm not sure what the second coin might be. And a code card. Again, this is a alleged leak. So as a, I, don't, I don't know where it came from. I can't confirm it. But... Uh, Typically, roughly every November, we get an Ultra Premium Collection, so it's it's not a surprise that we would get one again. Uh, let the speculation begin about what these three promo cards are. Uh, I know some people thought maybe that the um, the Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur from the from the Classic Collection might be in there. I personally don't think that it's going to be those three because man, can, can we just have enough with those? What what would be the point of including these terrestrial basic energies if it was going to be those three? I feel like the three energies have to go with the promo cards in some way. Otherwise, that seems really weird to include them both together. So personally, I don't think it was I don't think it's going to be the big three from the classic collection. I know Pokemon when they announced after that came out, they announced that the the special unique cards that were going to be in the classic collection would be available at a later time. However, they released that um, Combined Powers Premium Collection, and it had the the other brand new, like the Lugia V, um, Suicune, those cards were included in that set. And I think when they originally made that announcement after the, the, and, the and Mr. Mime, after the, uh, the Classic Collection, um, I think they were just referring to those four cards and including them in a future set, and, the, and that's already happened. So I don't think that this is going to be the big three. Another thing that I thought was maybe it would be the the brand new three guys from uh, the expansion of Scarlet and Violet, Okie Dokie, Fezzendipity, and um, Monkey Dory, but they're not terrestrialized right now. So again, how how does the terrestrial basic energy fit with that? Um, and then what about Petrarant? When wouldn't they do a, a set of four for those guys? Another thing that I thought was 
the Terrapagos. Terrapagos needs the terrestrial energy, and that sort of makes sense. But then why three cards? Maybe it's all three stages. That would make sense. Maybe, you know, two ARs and a SAR for the third card. Uh, that's certainly a possibility. Uh, I know some other people think that maybe this is going to be a Pikachu. Um, there is supposedly a Pikachu set coming out around this time. But then again, why three promo cards? Are they going to be three different Pikachu promo cards? And he's only got two stages. So again, the three promo cards doesn't really make sense to me for Pikachu. However, it absolutely could be. So I thought we'd take a look at some of the comments that people have put down here and just see what they say. Um, this guy says, another holiday set for summer holidays makes sense. It's coming out in November, so um, you know, to me, it, it makes sense that it's a holiday set. I'm not sure what what the summer holidays means. Eight basic, eight basic, well, yeah, eight, ba eight cracked ice foil terrestrial basic energies. Uh, Terrastal, I don't, does, might be shortened. Um, you know, the, those energies could be um, some sort of rainbow energies. They could be a new energy that somehow powers up the terrestrial Pokemon. That that could be an interesting change to the game mechanic. They're, they're clearly designed to be used together uh, in the game. You're getting eight, which is about what one would need to to include them in, your, in a deck, I, I'm assuming. Or it's one, you get one for each energy type. That that could be what it is, is uh, fire, water, grass, all the all the energies. And each one, there's one for each of those that somehow gives you something special. And you can use that for for certain Pokemon. Um, so could be, could it be pretty interesting? I'm, I'm really not sure, but it's very interesting. Uh, this person hopes it's not a Charizard set. I highly doubt it's going to be a Charizard set. Um, Terrapagos themed, I'm guessing. This person says they think it's the Pikachu from the Supercharged Breaker set. Um, hoping it's energy support we need for Terra Stellar Pokemon. Pro but poss probably, possibly just basic rainbow energy. It's interesting that they give me, they're giving you eight, though. So that really is starting to make me think that it's definitely going to be for each of the energy types, you know, something that, that you would only use one in your deck maybe, or, but that would be kind of rough. So I'm not sure. They're not, they're not usually giving you stuff like that to, to help you build decks. Evolving Skies, UPC, no, there's no way. One can wish, yeah, one can wish. The Dragon Set comes earlier we'll, we'll look at the, the set orders that are coming out so i don't think it's going to be related to the dragon set 18 packs it feels more like the charizard upc it's definitely going to be S scarlet and violet packs 18 packs of scarlet and violet up to that point i believe a couple packs from each set it's definitely not going to be a special collection set uh probably contain smv packs and complaining about it um and here, RP1414 has the, the set list uh, of UPCs in the past. Hidden Fates, which was all the packs in there, would have targeted just Hidden Fates. Then they had the Zacian and Zamazenta UPC uh, in November of 2020, and that was the first half of Sword and Shield packs. Celebrations, of course, had only Celebrations. Charizard had a mixture of, um, of all the Sword and Shield packs. And then 151 was targeted again to 151 packs so it keeps alternating back and forth so i think it's pretty clear that this set's going to have scarlet and violet uh complete mix of that so i want to pop over to justin basil's website uh he has tons of great news and information that you can check out it's justinbasil.com so we can see the release calendar in japan here we had mask of change the ogre pond special set night wanderer which is going to be shrouded fable coming out in june then we have stellar miracle Paradise Dragona, which is coming out in September of 2024. That's the one that's going to have a lot of dragon type Pokemon, including like uh, Latios and Latias. <laughs> uh, then Supercharged Breaker, which is kind of the Pikachu set coming out in October, uh, so October, November. So it, this could be geared towards containing US packs or international packs that uh, kind of have some of that in there. Uh, some of the, the big hitters as the, the big three. So 
we got Shroud of Fable coming out in August, and then we got Scarlet and Violet 7 coming out in September, and Scarlet and Violet 8 coming out in November. So I'm assuming with this collection coming out in November, it's going to contain all the packs from then backwards. Um, we're going to be in Scarlet and Violet era all the way through the end of 2025. So uh, it'll be interesting a year from now <laughs> what we're speculating about to come after Scarlet and Violet. So Supercharged Breaker is coming out a month before, and things generally come out a month, sometimes two, in uh, Jap Japan before here. So it, it there is definitely a possibility that it could be a Pikachu set. I just find that kind of weird. And again, with the three promo cards, that, that's kind of throwing me off, making me think that it's not going to be a, um, a, Pikachu's, a Pikachu collection. And I already feel like celebrations with the with the promos in there. That was kind of a Pikachu collection. So I'll be personally, I'll be a little bit bummed. Now these could be the the sickest SAR cards we've ever seen. And if it's Pikachu, that'd be super fantastic. With some of the SAR cards that are coming out in promos recently, um, you know, it's certainly possible. So there you have it. Some interesting, really cool UPC is coming out soon in november i'm pretty excited for it i can't wait to see what's inside of there the reason why i think that it might be very expensive again is it's got the three promo cards it's got those eight crack dice energies it's got a deck box play mat and that that three across one touch protector clearly they want you to be displaying these three cards together so they obviously have to go together in some way um you know i guess the charizard was um we had the V, the V Star, and the V Max. They they could do a Pikachu one, I guess. Uh, that'd be kind of interesting. Um, now now I'm kind of leaning tor more towards maybe it could be a Pikachu. Would be a, a little bit of a bummer to me. But what do you guys think? What do you think that is this UPC is going to contain? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll catch you in the next video.